All right. Shalom. One. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards young brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom warm to the hopeful leg the believers and listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith. Thank you, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright, and um what I want to get into today, alright, just a real quick lesson, you know, letting patience, you know, have its perfect work. You know, and it's inspired by um a chapter in the book of James, you know, the first chapter, first couple of precepts, and you know, James is, you know, pretty much exhorting, you know, the church, okay, through tribulations, you know, and the book of James is a, is a very, you know, inspiring book, you know, it's, it's, it's a book, you know, overcoming, you know, when you really get into it, you know, James is, you know, um, I say exhorting the church, you know, to go through these trials, you know, you know, don't turn back, don't sway, but go through these trials, you know, with faith. You know, we all got our own trial. You know, we all going through different phases, you know, within this walk. So when you go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2, it's, um, my brethren, counting all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, man. You know, and one of the things the Lord is doing with us, man, you know, he's conditioned us to react in faith, you know, because one thing, you know, that, you know, that we was um, accustomed to doing when things would happen to us, all right, we would throw a pity party for ourselves, you know, we would play the victim, you know, we, 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 you know, we always, you know, we start, you know, we'll start forgetting all the good and we just put emphasis on the bad. You know, but the Lord is conditioning us to react different to tribulation, man. Speaking to myself first and foremost, man. You know, you have certain things going a certain way and you have these certain expectations and sometimes the Lord will come and he'll put, you know, he'll throw a monkey wrench in the play. You know, throw, throw you out of whack. Okay? But it's not to destroy us. Alright? It's to get us to look trust like the lord got this man this is this is a this ain't as big as as, as as we tend to make it you know nothing that's another thing like in the truth you know we learned that you know a lot of things you know everything nothing is really big as what we make it in our mind you know because them demons feed off our anxiety our worry see those are all demons you know and and, and it's attacks our spirit you know when we in the spirit of anxiety and you know overthinking and worrying you know so that and that's why those things hinder the spirit because when you in the spirit of anxiety like that's all you can think about is that thing you know that situation you know but what always keeps my mind you know just me personally man like when i go through something man i always i'm gonna keep my same spiritual skills you know, if possible, some things, you know, you got to, you know, make the adjustments. But if possible, man, for the most time, keep that same spiritual schedule, man. I can do that lesson and I'll be good. You know, I get a, a, a session in, a reading, man, I, I'll be good. You know, like my whole spirit will be calmed down and, you know, my spiritual perspective will come back. You know, that's why, hey, we should be running to your house shot, not the bottle. All right, not to the woman, you know, which those things have its purpose, you know, their use and their time. All right, but the true, all right, discretion is your how was shot. That's the that's the number one discretion because our spirit has to be discretion first, you know. Then you can go and discretion in the flesh, okay, with moderation, okay. This is uh James one and one. It says, my brethren, count it. Um, all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay, so the trying of our faith, you know, on a daily basis, it, it worketh patience, man. You know, it subjugates us to 
the will of Yahweh by Shema Osha, to trust in his will, because we're subjugated to it anyway. But what, you know, these daily trials are doing is getting us to be okay with his will. Okay? Okay, it wasn't meant for me to do this today. It wasn't meant for this to happen. You know, it was meant for this to happen. All right, so what is the Lord showing me? What adjustment I need to make? Okay? Well, how, how do I need to go, you know, about resolving this situation in spirit? Throw up prayers. That's another, you know, thing I'm learning. You know, throw up prayers. You know, pray, you know, before praying before I react. <laughs> you know, putting them prayers up. Okay? Because the Lord is a... Hey, because we we all still got, you know, a little stubborn ways about ourselves, man. You know, we still got, you know, the, the old man characteristics that the Lord is beating out of us, man. Okay, through these afflictions. All right, through this chastisement, man. All right, you women too, man. You know, you got them old nigga woman ways still there that, hey, the Lord, hey, you got to get this shit out you, man. You know, you, the spirit of entitlement, and, you know. This spirit of, 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 of being authoritative and, you see, the need to speak in every city. No, the Lord is getting all that out of, out of us, man, whatever it might be, okay? Verse um, 4 said, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, okay? So, as we grow in the faith. You know, the Lord is dealing, you see, and perfect, all right, um, uh, and perfect goes into being complete, and see, we have to understand, we're not going to be perfected until your Yahweh Shah returns, you know, we're a constant work in progress, okay, but hey, in this walk, we do complete certain phases, man, okay, there's certain phases that we do complete on the way to the ultimate perfection when we're changed under the new covenant. Okay? And we have to let patience have its perfect work. And then we, you know, hey, we complete particular phases and then it's on to the next. Starting over again. Going through the trial, you know. Going through the suffering. And suffering these things with patience. And then... Patience is having this perfect work. It's completing something in us, man. We're going through that hey, the perfection process, man. We're on the quest to be perfected. Okay? And it's a thing of patience. <laughs> you know? Like I said, you know, hey, uh, uh, you, you know, your, 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 your brother don't have a woman. Hey, you're not, you probably ain't at that phase yet. A sister that, you know, you don't have... Uh, a husband, you want a man of the Lord, you know, a single sister, you probably, you're not at that phase yet. Okay? Keep building. When the, the Lord got all this figured out, man, there's certain things that, that we all got certain wants and, you know, we got little ventures and things going on and things don't fall through. Why? Because we ain't at that phase yet, man. There's still some growing to do. Then the Lord can start, you know, giving every needful thing. In due season, let's get that real quick. Okay. You know? Let's get that in um so rock thirty nine and thirty three. It says all the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. And remember, we're the work, okay? So the Lord is constantly refining us, man. You know, constantly making us more and more pure, you know, until that day, all right? We're constantly being purified. We're constantly being detoxed from Babylon, man, getting the BS out of our spirit, man, you know? And that's a process, you know? We got to wait that process through. You see, ain't no shortcuts, ain't no gimmicks, okay? It ain't going to be comfortable. You know, there's times where, you know, moments, the you know, Lord had you where you, you know, where you good, but then there's going to be times of trying. You know, it's a balance, you see? 
But the Lord give every needful thing in due season, man. Okay? He know exactly the, the type of money we need access to to keep us balanced. Okay? If, it, if, if, if we, to the point where we can handle the increase and don't destroy ourselves, he'll give the increase. Okay? Whatever it might be. <laughs> you see? Even, you know, he'll increase the platform as we grow. Like the platform grows as we grow. <laughs> you see? Each brother got their own portion, man. But, hey, growth, you know, our inward growth, you know, it always shows, you know, outwardly. You know? It always spills over, you know, into our reality, man. The, our inward growth in your house side always spills over, all right, uh -huh, to our reality, man. Okay? So, let's keep... um. Going on in James. Okay. Make this. I'm going to make this long. Alright. James 1. Okay. This is on James 1 and 4 again. It says, But let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing man you know so these afflictions are equipping us with the tools needed to get to salvation okay so when the time all right of jacob's trouble you know the time of you know us you know being tested the hour of temptation man we're going to have all the tools that we need okay in the spirit to get by we're not going to be wanting anything in the spirit Okay, we're not going to be lacking in faith. We're not going to be lacking in trust. We're not going to be lacking in patience. We're not going to be lacking in wisdom and understanding. Okay, we're going to be equipped, all right, to endure what the Lord is about to bring to the earth, man. Okay, you know, lacking and wanting in nothing. <laughs> you see? So, yeah, I think that's the point, all right? Yeah, matter of fact, I read in the NLT, James 1 and 4 says, So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, because they, they that they endure to the end shall be saved. You know? So when our endurance is our endurance is being developed, man, just like a marathon running out there, and, and you have to develop that endurance. A boxer, they have to and develop that endurance, man. Okay? You don't go to the gym day one. And fight 12 rounds. Okay. You have to be developed to that point. Alright. And it says. You will be perfect and complete. Needing nothing man. Okay. And I say in the time of, of, of the great trial. Which is the hour of temptation man. You know we're going to have. We're going to be. We're going to be um equipped. Okay. With everything we need in the spirit to endure. And to get by. You know. So. Lord will you brothers, all right, and you sisters, all right, we're edified once again and give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushua, Bahashem, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutation, and hopefully, shalom.